This is America. This is Omar Jose, the real. See here, just met a uh, gentleman by another brother, Andrew. Um, just one of those holy moments in time where, when you smile, you know, and then people see you smile, and you see their smile. You, you don't. You, you, you when you frown, you you don't realize the the gifts that God has in that person for you, and the gifts that that God has for that person. Excuse me. The gifts that God has in that person for you and the gifts that God has for that person from you. And so there's two there's two before things you share. Before, before you rather. Yeah, thank yeah. you. And so that's what the scripture says, iron sharpens iron. And so we're just gonna sit here and have a conversation that y'all enjoy, man. You know, this is what we do. This is black ink. You know, we just spark it up right then and there. It's, you know, that's that's what black ink is. It's, it's a spark. It's a black spark. And so, um, Enjoy the conversation. We're going to sit here and cipher. You want to say hello, Billy Jenny? Hello, America. Land of the, land of the, the blind. <laughs> yeah. yeah. We love children. We love children, too. You know? Yeah. <laughs> right, we got to get to a lot of people. Yeah. We just wish you guys would have sent towards solid food. You know, for being so childish. Judge, 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 judge is not being surprised. That's, 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 that's part of the rule. Uh, we'll try to get Brother Andrew in here, too. Uh, how we know how we do that. When you judge, you sever. You sever yourself from God when you start judging. Because yeah. he's the judge, not you. Well, in, in the book of Deuteronomy, it, it tells us that you can judge with the eyes of God if you look for no personalism in it. Yeah. For instance, well, how we for how we met. Yeah. Now, if I had judged you by how you look, and and that seeing the smile, <laughs> then I would have never acquired a good friend. Well, you got pit bull with you too. That means yeah. you're real. <laughs> yeah. You got a pit bull with you. You know, you're not scared for one of the most ferocious dogs that they say there is. And I have a nine-year-old one that I raised with babies, and uh -huh. he licks everybody to death. Yeah. The only person he bites is me when I spank him. <laughs> <laughs> he don't want me spanked when he gets old. He wouldn't uh -huh. like it until he got older. But he, he realized the dog age is funny. Like he, he's like sixty-seven years old in dog years. So when I go to whip him last couple of years, I didn't really realize that this ain't my puppy no more. This is this is a grown man. This is a, <laughs> this is a grandpa this dog. Is a grandpa he dog. He don't want no whip his yeah, tail. He don't want no touch of the night. He did what he did for whatever reason. He did it. He not he not gonna explain himself now. Yeah, you know? yeah. So, so you know it's kind of not a hard hearted moment for the dog, but he's a senior moment. He's yeah, yeah, a senior moment. Yeah, he's like, yeah, you know, I've been doing this. <laughs> he's like, I got puppy whippers all the time. Uh huh. And now he ain't getting them no more. All he wants to do is lay there. And Wait, wait for me to type from good outside. coffee, you know, old old style. Hey man, it's like we're looking down into the to, to world. Yeah, there. we're looking down in the world. Well, they're, they're down in a hole, most people, because you know exactly. They, that's they, what they, that's what they look down on. Well, you know what, man? What y'all doing down there? I think a job's going to get them somewhere a lot of times, but you need to be in business for yourself. Tell them, man. They don't. They don't. They don't right. understand it. If you read the Bible, it's telling you to think for yourself. Yeah. You know what I mean? And 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 to think with his with his not mind and, and your mind combined. Mm -hmm. You know. I'm clenching on to it. Shit. <laughs> yeah, man. Be like, people need to drop the hate. I know that much, man. They need to drop the scams. They need that's, to drop you know what, the hate. That's, that's a holy moment. You just another holy moment that he brought up, America. That now I can look down on you. I'm gonna start putting my phone down and start looking down in the hole. Yeah, they're down there. They're down there, man. They're running to work. They're going to work, and they're running into each other, texting each other. They're running back and forth to three different pharmacies trying to fill the same prescription. You know, they're going nuts, man. They're going nuts. 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 Hey man, I know them rims come from. Yeah, <laughs> they come from the federal government. <laughs> yeah, you know, don't they? No doubt. Hey, we know we know why y'all uh, illegalized weed, cause y'all know that papyrus in the in the in the in the in the, in the weed the the the, uh, the weed strands last longer than regular trees. No, no, no. What it is is is, is it's hard to police marijuana, but it's easy to police pills. Yeah. Yeah, you get more time for a pill too, and then they pay more money to put you in the local jail. 
in a, in a country with no jobs, why not put everybody in jail and institutionalize them? Because free labor. Well, yeah, we've got free labor, and then of course a lot of experiments they do on people too. Well, you know, whether even the doctors know they're doing experiments on their patients, the case studies show that most pills are bad. Any kind of behavioral pill or bad. has a bad side effect later on in someone's life. So all the case studies follow. The only pill to take is Tylenol, but not all the time. And if you eat aspirin, eat aspirin more than you would eat Tylenol. Yeah. And stay away from any other pill. They're all bad. The only pill worth eating is in the Word of God. Yeah. That's, that's the health. That's your mind. That's everything. You, you don't need blood pressure pill if you eat in the way Moses said, eat and don't eat pork. Then you don't have high blood pressure, salty diet. You know, case, case studies show people don't eat pork. Live 30 years longer than people do. Yeah. I mean, you know, why do they sell pork cheap? You, you read the book, right? Oh, You're yeah. You're a man with the arts and talents, right? That's how Gulp, paint, right? lost by. <laughs> yeah. I ground crankshafts when I was 16 years old in a machine shop here in town before Bill Clinton started partying in the White House too much, you know. Then we all, all middle class lost our businesses. We lost everything. Everybody I know in town that used to run race cars and, and effectuate their businesses and, and they're bringing their sons up in the shops and building cars and keep people going to work every day, no problems, and keep people from car payments, basically, because you end yeah. up always jumping into a new car, paying 400 bucks a month. You pay more to drive a car than your house. You have to buddy up with people just to live after you start buying cars at, what, 5% interest? Yeah. And a lot of people end up getting credit cards at, what, 27% interest? Right. So, so it's even allowed to take the brakes off this. Yeah. i tell you what, that's why we had what we had the other day when we had our crash. The world out here on the street is demoralized. People are using any kind of credit just to get high. Yeah. Our government won't fix the old. Our government tries to fix it by putting a what a methadone clinic in. Well, you know, methadone hurts you more than anything. If you yeah. know anything about methadone? More, more than heroin. Well, I mean, they're more one of the same, though, aren't they? Methadone is like probably like the sugar, where you take the calories from the sugar, but it still looks like sugar. Yeah. And then when you know yourself, you take a chemical and break it down, and, and you took it from original form yeah. that our creator had left it. Yeah, and, it's, and it's, then it's all bad. You make it incomplete. Well, now, now, now you you got to add the base. You yeah. take away, you take away the, the strength, and you get and you put back something that don't belong. Cut, cuddles you. Yeah, it's something that's it's grabbing you. It ain't even the drug that's grabbing you now. It's, it's something else that got in everything. You know, like. Well, just, just the fact that, that the doctor's sitting there going, oh, I can make you feel better. Yeah, that's, that's, See, that's, that's the hook. That's the problem. That's yeah, the hook right that's, there. That's the hook. That's, that's like, the hook. That's the hook. Once the doctor's that guy, I can make you feel better. You're running up like an animal, like, <laughs> like a dog when yeah. you get fed. And it don't matter what they give you. You're taking it. You're going to go home and try to break it up and snort it. You're going to try to do something with it. You're going to try to shoot it up now. Anything you can try. Oh, the doctor said it. Just because he gave it to you. And then you think you're a chemist now because the way everybody gets self-worshipping, you know. Yeah. It's crazy. Self-worshipping? Well, when you drop off the mind of God, you, you, you're you self-worshipping, bro. You just broke the first commandment. So, instance, son, so we're just telling, what you're saying is, when I was, this, this is what comes to me just now. When I was an addict, because uh, I used to smoke crack for well over 15 years, I was self-worshipping, huh? Basically. Yep. You're, you're, your drive for the crack, it definitely blinds you from the word. You, you step away from it the yeah. minute you want something that, that, that puts God behind you, you know. It could be a car. It could be it could be a tattoo. Well, well, you, it me, could be anything. It could be well, anything me, you put in front of you. Well, you know? myself, I want to die. I, I smoke crack to die. Then you? Yup. And I couldn't die. Well, you That's know, there, there's a reason why you couldn't die. I don't even want to know the reason. I'm just, you know, there is I'm a just reason. going, I'm just going the opposite reason. now. There's a reason why we're all still here. In the scripture, it says we're chosen ones. And there's something about when we, at young, at young mind, at young mind, joined our minds with the creator. And it says real clear, he doesn't ever let you go now once you've done this. You, and you might beg to die, but you're not going to get it. He loves you too much. He's already done tasted your mind. You see, you can't walk away from him now. He owns you forever. You can try to do anything you want, but you'll find yourself just like me and you right now, isolated from this weird world, and, but we know the truth, and we pity them that can't change. 
We live today for today because tomorrow is definitely going to be there. They're promised forever and ever. We've ascended into the world of angelism. We've become angelic because he, he wouldn't let us go, and he keeps stumble blocking us to where now there's nothing in front of us in him. You feel it? It's a beautiful thing. Let's look at it. Like, the, the, sometimes it even like it freaks you out, you know, like when you start holding your breath and you start slipping into time like the monks do in the Southern Hemisphere, mm -hmm. and the sky don't move. Everything just... It's, it's, that, it's, it's this one with the universe. I see why they do it. You know, it's, it's awesome, you know what I mean? That's why celestial people don't worry about death too much. It's more of an honor and privilege to, to sin because they understand it a lot better than we do, you know what I mean? You, you know that about foreigners? I wonder if you knew what you just said to me. Oh, it's all deep, brother. It gets so deep. You know how deep it gets, let me tell you? It gets as deep as the Mediterranean Ocean, my brother. Because that is some of the deepest spots in the world. Guess what, bro? Yeah. You know? It's, it's deeper than that. It's deeper than, than, than the water that comes up under Florida, that, that comes from under the basin of Russia, through, through the Atlantic Ocean, through rock. And it comes out so blasty. It's 30 miles out of the sea in Florida. You can get to tip out drinking water. There's no salt in it. You know, that, that's the world we live in. And it says, though, in Genesis, the waterways were made as the first moment of the first turn. But, of course, the King James Version leaves out the golden egg that hit it. Uh -huh. And, of course, gold now, we know, is not made here on this planet. It comes from somewhere else. So, you know, and then everybody's got it on them, see. So, when the, when the package hit, it was the golden egg. That's where they get that, uh... Yeah, when the, when back it, in the beam stock where the golden egg is up in the side. Well, the golden that. egg, the golden egg was sent from one place. You know, and the golden egg was compiled of all our souls, even, something. You know, if you start reading Scientology, you start yeah. scratching the, the deepness of this, where the, the creator is a warlord, and, and he had put the belligerent souls into the volcanoes of this world. To, and then, of course, the, you, you, the drugs that grow from our earth, it says in there, is, is actually the demons that were in us that was filtered out through the transference of coming back through the soil. So when you eat, like, liquor or, or harmful things or anything, you know, or even this stuff, you know, it, it's, a, it's a, of course, you learn how to tame this simple one. Yeah. You know, but a lot of these, a lot of these substances out here is, is demons in the substance, and, and, and you even, like, you, you act up when you're yeah. on it. Yeah, because there's demons coming out of you now. Coming out of you, yeah, come exactly. flying you right. see it. Now, now, yeah, now, now some, see things, some things will make you sweet, and some things will make you yeah. demonic as yeah. hell. <laughs> that's like, that, that, that's how I'm going to study, man. The, the Scientology ends up being the last religion you want to study. Well, first, you want to study probably Sid of Harper's kind of stories, you know, where, where you learn about men that were trapped, you know, in their world, you know, secluded and wanted to reach out and, and learn and, and go to other tribes and see how they lived and, and then, of course, you know, accumulate this, this monkful knowledge, you know. And then, of course, the, even in Siddha Hartha's story, he ran across Caramella and, and fell in love with her and changed himself so she would love him. And then he became a drunkard and a gambler and a fat man. Remember, remember Buddha? Yeah, yeah Siddha Hartha, the story of Siddha Hartha. Yeah, I got, the, I got the book called um, I got the little conversation book. between uh, conversation between Buddha and uh, Jesus. Well, oh, he told the story of his life or something. Well, Buddha, it was Buddha and Jesus. Let's listen. Just using that name because the title of the book. Yeah. But in truth, it's Buddha and Yahshua, and he's talking. They're having a conversation about his uh, ministry. Well, he told me Jesus came to Buddha when he was. Uh -uh. Oh, Buddha had sent it to his world? No, no, Buddha was already in the midst. In other words, Buddha was already in Israel. Oh, so he's just another recycled soul. You don't know how many you met? Yeah. That's how Yahshua and Buddha met. <laughs> you know, Buddha, would, Buddha, Yahshua was already talking to some other people. Buddha was already talking to some people. And so after Buddha got just talking, he went over and started listening to Yahshua. And, he, and that's how the dialect started. And so Buddha took interest and Yahshua, so he was walking, you know, and notice he would see big crowds through his travels. And then when he go investigate the crowds, 
it was Yahshua in the middle of the crowd. And so he would inquire about his, not about his knowledge. And then Yahshua, when I was talking to Buddha, like me and you chit-chatting, yeah. dialecting, he said, hey, you're, you're just as a Messiah as I am. Searching for more truth, searching for more answers. No, they were not searching. They was expounding on the truth that nobody knew, meaning the Word of God was already in them. So when they met, it's kind of like, there's really nothing to learn from each other because we both understand the same Right, it was more of a confirmation. At the mind of God. Right, yeah. right. It was, it was a confirmation amongst two men to confirm what they see in the other man and what they saw in themselves. Yeah, I noticed that. And then the word, and the, word of, the word of truth confirmed both of these just like just like with you, when I run into you, you got a different way you view that, and 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 the Lord has made you very very strong in your belief. You know what I mean? Like I see how I see how you know. There's no way I could impair on your on your way you see it. He's made you. He's armadillo, not just you in the physical sense, because like you said, you try to waste yourself all wouldn't work. But he's armadillo you in the mind sense too. You went too far to come back. That's what exactly. happened, man. You got clicked in there, like it went in there and went click, and now, now you don't come back. You don't, you don't go back to them people no more. Let them harm you, or let them kill you. You don't, you don't let yeah, you we don't see. Need it. No more. You shake the dust off your feet, you roll. Roll on out. You see how I roll? You see exactly. how I roll? <laughs> I'm even looking for a partner to drive the first truck. <laughs> <laughs> hey, you got a license? Oh, <laughs> no, well, that's okay. I'll follow you. Yeah. You're a good driver, though, right? <laughs> That's what God's about. He don't care if you have a license. As long as you're an expert driver, you don't need a license. You can lose truck. Yeah. Like, yeah. You lose so you can. Oh, man. Hey, I know this town like the back of my this is, head. This is, uh... I know every alley. One of the segments. Hey, I, I know every sewer. I know every sewer in this um, place, man. This we hope you enjoy this part. We got four-foot sewers down here. This neighborhood. Uh, listen to the conversations, more or less, and how two men from different parts of the country, different... Walks of life. I've lived here my whole life. the same spirit. I've lived here my whole life. Which is the most high and the truth and brotherhood. Don't vote Democrat no more if y'all smart, man. There's no more Jose. <laughs> but I like Obama. Black he, Inc. I don't think he's really a uh, Democrat. I'll we'll get public. back at you. You know that? And be kind to each other. What do you think about Peace. that? Peace.